Hello South Africa. Today is Tuesday, April 4, 2023 and here are the top 5 stories that have made headlines for today. Shocking move, Eskom exempted from disclosing financial losses. The National Treasury has exempted Eskom from disclosing irregular and fruitless expenditures in a gazette published on March 31st. With the gazette, Finance Minister Enoch Godomwana exempted the power utility from Section 55 b i of the Public Finance Management Act PFMA, for the last financial year and the next two years. Disgrace former Chwane Mayor Macquarilla granted a 10K bail. Fraud accused former mayor of the city of Chwane, Dr. Mirinwa Makurila, appeared before the Pretoria Specialized Commercialized Crimes Court on Monday, April 3, on charges of fraud and uttering. The accusations stem from his short stint as the first citizen of the capital. Shortly after his election as mayor, Makurila was alleged to have previously been sequestrated. The 50-year-old claimed he had been rehabilitated and provided proof, which was later deemed to be false. More than 6,000 sponsor shops assisted with our 58 million. Small Business Development Minister Stellan Debini Abrahams said more than 6,000 sponsor shops had been assisted with our 58 million since the introduction of the sponsor shop support program, SSSP. This was revealed by Nabini Abrahams when she was responding to written parliamentary questions from Good Party MP Brett Heron. He wanted to know about the number of sponsor shops that applied for support after President of the Republic Cyril Ramaphosa announced in April 2020 COVID-19 economic and social relief measures aimed at assisting SMMEs, sponsor shop owners and other informal businesses in the form of loans, grants and debt restructuring. Rihanna Pretorius breaks silence over Cabra kidnapping ordeal. Rihanna Pretorius, the biokineticist from Nelson Mandela Bay who was kidnapped outside her workplace in mid-March, has finally broken her silence on social media. Pretorius, 26, was returned safely to her family eight days later on March 24, as reported by the South African website. She had been silent about her ordeal since returning home, but last Friday recently posted her gratitude for all the prayers and thoughts on her Facebook page. Derek Watts recovering at home after sepsis. The famous carte blanche presenter Derek Watts had to learn to walk again after collapsing two weeks ago and ending up in hospital. The TV personality, who became a household name as part of this investigative journalism program, initially thought he had suffered a stroke, but the doctors determined it was severe sepsis. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.